Yo, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial and today we are going to show you how to route MPC 2.0 into Ableton Live 9.7. 10 is on the way too so you might want to pick that up. But nevertheless, let's get started. If you look at my screen, you'll see this track that says MP MPC track. Really what that is is a group track with all the tracks you're going to need to make this happen. So let's go ahead and unload that. It, as you can see, the first track is going to be the MPC software, then we're going to have outputs 3 and 4 all the way down to 32, like so. Output 31, 32. Outputs 3 and 4. So you can kind of guess what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to open the software, load the beat that you want to play, and then you're going to have to reroute the inputs and outputs into Ableton. So, let's go ahead and open the software. Software inside software, software inception. <laughs> All right, this is our beat. Let's see how it sounds. Okay, so let's go ahead and start from step one. I'm going to delete these audio tracks. Alright, so this is what it would look like if you have your beat loaded up and the MPC software going and everything with no tracks. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to load up some audio tracks. So let's say we need like 20 of them, okay? If you have a Mac, you can just keep hitting Command T. All right, we have 18 audio tracks, and then we'll just count them out to see how that works, see if that's enough. So, outputs three and four, because one and two are your mains, you're never gonna run your outputs to one and two. It's always gonna start at three and four. So three and four, five and six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31, 32. So we can get rid of these other two audio tracks. Now, just for the sake of cleanliness, let's go ahead and rename these, right? And trust me, this will make sense later because you're going to have to reroute some stuff over in the mixer section on Ableton. And if you don't have everything labeled, it gets really confusing really quick. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'll rename a couple and then we'll just go back later and show you how to relabel them all in a separate tutorial if you don't know how to rename tracks. But let's go up to the top again. Rename this to three and four. And then output seven and eight. All right, that's good enough for now. So, what you're gonna have to do on your side is you're gonna go, you're gonna go to output three and four in Ableton, and we're gonna switch the inputs and the outputs so that it'll know that the input audio is coming from MPC, but you want it to output into Ableton Live. All right. So instead of it being an in exterior input for the audio, we're gonna put MPC. Again, that lets Ableton know that it's receiving audio from the MPC 2.0 plugin that's right above it. Now we're going to switch the outputs. All right, and you see it has post fader, pre fader, all that. Don't worry about that. 
we're going to switch the outputs to three and four. So that lets it know the sound is going to be coming from MPC 2.0 and whatever sound is going out of three and four in MPC 2.0, it's going to be getting that audio and putting it into Ableton. All right. So we're going to do the same thing with five, six, seven, eight, all the way down to 32. Switch the input to MPC. Output to five and six. Input MPC. Output seven and eight. Output nine and ten. All right, and we'll stop at 11 and, 11 and 12. Now let's go back to MPC. Now what you have to do on this end is very simple. Now you have to start routing sounds in MPC to make sure that Ableton knows that the sound is coming from the MPC VST, but it's going into Ableton. So from there, there's some quick ways you can do that. Now notice all of these sounds are either going out from the program outs or output one and two. For this first program, I could just put this whole drum track on three and four, or I can do the individual sounds. So just for the sake of things, let me show you how to do them individually so you can get a full multi-track out. All you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your pad mixer. This is the first sound that we're using, the kick drum. So instead of program outs, I'm going to go to stereo output. I'm going to switch that to three and four. That's the next sound we're using. Five and six. Seven and eight. All right, we're at seven and eight, and that's all that we used on track one. All right, this one's gonna go to nine and 10. Eleven and 12. Thirteen and fourteen, all right, and don't freak out on this one because it says the pad mixer is not available for the plugin. All we have to do is go to the program outs, which is going to be on the main screen, and we're going to switch this one to fifteen and sixteen. I think we're using thirteen and fourteen, so yeah. Just go to output one and two. Stereo outputs in 15 and 16. Let's go back here and make sure 15 and 16 all the way up to there is ready. Let's see. All right, so we did 11 and 12, so let's do all the way through 16. Thirteen and fourteen. Fifteen and sixteen. Now, a good way to check to see if all the audio is properly routed is to press play on your Ableton Live uh, session. And if you press play and you don't hear any audio, but you see the uh, the faders moving, that means all the audio is properly routed. If you hear something playing, that means you forgot to route something. So let's try that now. All right, see the fader moving. All right, see, no sound now. Right there. All right, that means everything's properly routed. So, finally, how do we get the audio into Ableton from MPC? 
the last step is you have to arm all the tracks to be ready to record and then you just record so let's do that now And I turned off the MPC plugin just because I didn't want the sound to come through and muffle everything. So let's go ahead and press record on Ableton and see what happens. Alright, and see all the waveforms populating. Alright, and just to test it, let's play let's press play. And there you have it guys, that's how you route MPC 2.0 into Ableton Live 9.7. So with that, please feel free to subscribe to us so we can keep giving you dope content. And don't forget to tell a friend and tell a friend that Drum Machine Addicts has their back. If you have any questions, hit us at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com. We'll see you next week. Peace.